Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the butt bounce on a slackline. My name is Benny, this is Gibbon Slacklines and the first thing you want to do before learning how to butt bounce you want to get the right slackline set up. So I would suggest a line that is not like too low but also not too high in the beginning. Uh, maybe 15 meters is a good length or a bit longer and yeah I'm using the Andy Lewis trick line from Gibbon Slack Lines. So first of all I'm going to show you how, how it looks like, how does a butt bounce look like. So basically just stand on the line then drop onto your butt and back to your feet. Yeah it looks simple when someone does it, it does it a lot of times but at the beginning you will struggle a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get comfortable in sitting on a line. So this is the position of the butt bounce. Your left knee is quite close to the line and your upper body is facing the end of the line. And then you really straighten your legs and you just try to keep balance while butt bouncing without much bounce. And then the second step is you do the same but then you move your arms up and down so you generate a bounce and you try to still keep balancing on the line. You will realize that you will like it's gonna be really scary for you because you might fall this way and then, I don't know, your legs are gonna do this and you, I don't know, and you fall this way and it's not so easy in the beginning. But the more you practice, the more your core will become stable and your muscles get used to this kind of um, position and motion and then it's gonna be really easy. So probably you will be quite scared because uh, this way it's really hard to save yourself. So what I recommend is to learn the safety flip as well. And there's another video I made on that, which basically looks like that. If you fall this way, do this. Something like that. You can also flip without touching your hands on the floor, but uh, this is a quite nice way to save yourself if you fall that way. The next step is trying to do it from standing. First of all, you just wanna like, kind of like drop down and like you can help in the beginning you can leave one leg down we'll do it anyway probably because it's quite scary to really commit to the butt bounce but uh, that helps to just like get the feeling for dropping down but this is actually a really bad habit don't get the habit of putting your leg down we call it dabbing and stack lining so you don't want to dab then for your first butt bounce you can also um, ask for a friend's hand and then do a butt bounce with somebody's hand. I will Like let's let's pretend that's my friend and then Just like hold the friend. He's gonna be on the side of your back facing your back and then you just bounce a little bit let go your feet oh. Oh. That was a stupid idea with this thing Okay, doesn't matter. You have the friend here, then you just do it a couple of times to get the feeling for it. And then eventually you just do it by yourself. Yeah, during the bounce, it's just important that you really um, uh, keep your body under tension. So you can really take all the bounce from the line and uh, get up to your feet again. Really <sighs> I think many people, when they first try the butt bounce, they are quite scared to lean with their body backwards but you have to lean a bit backwards to really be quite straight like with your weight spread um, uh, evenly on left on left and the right side and also you don't you don't want to touch too much with your heels the floor because if you touch a lot it will kill your bounce and you don't have enough you don't have enough momentum to uh, get back on the line so once you landed your first butt bounce, you can try the next challenge. Do like multiple butt bounces in a row. So it's butt bounce, feet, butt bounce, feet, butt bounce, feet. Like this is something I found it really fun when I tried it the first time. It really gives you, I don't know, a little bit of feeling of a flow on the line. So there's different ways of butt bouncing. Some people also butt bounce more facing the legs like this way, like this. Um, that's also pretty cool if you like that way. If you feel more comfortable for you, you can do that as well. It looks like that.
but I think like this is not like optimal because you really want to be able to combo with the butt bounce later on and I think to combo to do combos with the butt bounce like that is way easier than the butt bounce like that when I landed butt bounce the first time I was so stoked I wanted to do it like over and over again because it's just so much fun and it's really consistent so that's why it's cool like many tricks are really hard to to repeat on the slackline and it's really a struggle to just do them but the butt bounce is really consistent and that's why it's a lot of fun and a great way to to get into tricks on a line so in the process of learning the butt bounce you will realize that after a few sessions your body might um, feel a bit sore and uh, maybe uh, your butt hurts a little bit but then you have to just like always rest two days and then you go back on the line and you will feel way way better so in the future there will be more trick line and slackline tutorials so um, yeah follow your own slacklines and stay tuned mm -hmm.